Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net with a tutorial on creating sound effects in Adobe Edge Animate. We'll be using Edge Animate 3.0, which came out in January 2014, and we'll be using the top three new features in Edge Animate 3.0, namely audio support, responsive scaling, and script loading. So here we have a project that hasn't even been saved yet in Edge Animate. I just want to show you. This is all we've got in this project at this point. Two sound files, an MP3 and an OGG. If I go back up to the directory that audio directory is in, there's nothing in there. Now I'm going to save this project. I'll call it SND1. So what do I mean by sound effects? By that I mean a sound that accompanies some action. And in this case we're going to have a draggable element on the screen and have a sound effect accompanying that. And in order to implement a draggable element, we're going to use jQuery UI. So the scripting feature is the first feature we're going to use here. And you notice if you go here to add a script, it gives you two options. Either add a script from your disk or from a URL. I'm going to use the URL option. And to get that URL, I'm going to go to developers.google.com and access their jQuery UI URL. And here it is. This is the JavaScript part of it right here. The top one there is a CSS file. We're not going to use that. I'm just going to use the part starting with Ajax all the way up to .js. So I'll control C. Since I'm on a PC, that would be command C on a Mac. Go back here to scripts plus URL and click here and control V or command V and OK. And now we've got that script in our Edge Animate project. So I'm just going to create an ellipse or a circle to be my draggable element. Right click on it, convert to symbol, I'll name it circle, and click OK. And here's my element down in the timeline. Control S to save and Control Enter to test. So right now I just have a circle on the screen. If I try to drag it, I can't drag it. So I'm going to go to my stage and click right here on Open Actions and Creation Complete. So once the stage is created, this will happen. And I'm just going to insert this code that I had pre-prepared. So this is the jQuery UI code to make something draggable. And right in here, I need to put the name of the symbol that's going to be draggable, namely the circle. I'll save that and control enter to test. And now the circle is draggable. I'll just exit those two. So that's the first new feature we're using, scripting. Now you actually could use libraries like jQuery UI in previous versions of Edge Animate, but it wasn't built into the user interface the way it is now, so it's more convenient and accessible now. Now the next thing I want to do is add a sound effect so that when I drag the circle, I hear the sound. Now in the old days, before Edge Animate 3.0, I would do that like this. First we create a variable, it's SND here, to hold the audio, which is the MP3. 
And then within the draggable function, we have an object with a drag property and a value of another function that plays the sound. Now this is the old style way of doing it. It doesn't use the new sound feature of 3.0. But let's just test it out. So that works fine. The disadvantage of it is I'm only using the MP3. Now, for example, in Firefox, I need the OGG. It can't play MP3s. And you may want other fallbacks as well. That's the big advantage of the HTML5 audio in Edge Animate. It allows you to have fallbacks. So you notice we had two files, an MP3 and an OGG. With the new Edge Animate audio, we're going to be able to fall back to the OGG when the MP3 capability isn't there. So I'll just get out of this. So the first thing I need to do is just bring that sound into the project. And here are both those sounds. I'll drag that in. And I'll drag that in. And there's nothing visible on the stage. But here, you can see that it's brought them in. And you can see it here too, sound effects and sound effects too. So to investigate how we might cause a sound to play when we drag the circle, let's take a look at the more typical case where you would click something to make a sound play, like click a button. So I'm going to choose the circle here. Down here I'll go to Open Actions. And we'll use the click action. And over here we have a lot of different possibilities of what to do when we click the circle. And the one we want is play audio. So this tells us how Edge Animate does that. Sim dot dollar sign, which is the sign of jQuery. My audio element zero play. Well, in this case, my audio element will be sound effects. So this gives us a clue what to do here. And I'll just copy that code. Actually cut it out of there. Delete that. So now let's go back up here to the stage actions. So where we had sound play, we're going to put in this. And we don't need this anymore. And save and test. And that works. You notice if I drag right away, the first sound hasn't completed, and so the sound doesn't play. I have to wait until the sound is completed. Now I'm going to copy this, and I'll try in Firefox. And that does work. And Internet Explorer. And if you want to test that first version that I had, the old school version, you'll find it does not work in Firefox because Firefox needs the fallback to the OGG. So the last thing I'm going to do here is to make this responsive. So you'll notice if I make this smaller, let me uh, get this out of the way just to 
make this a little clearer. The circle just sits there. It doesn't adjust to the size of the window available. So to cure that, at the stage level, just click Responsive Scaling. Save that. I'll just bring up Internet Explorer here again. Hit F5 to refresh that. Now, so far, I've only got responsive scaling set up for the width. So if I adjust the height, you'll notice that the circle does not change its size or position at all. And by the way, you're noticing some artifacts on the screen here. The window, as I adjust it, is sort of leaving a trail behind. I believe that's probably because of the recording software that's operating in the background here. So if I want this to respond to both changes in height and width, I just choose both. Save, refresh, and now it adjusts to both height and width changes and the functionality is exactly the same. So thanks for tuning into this tutorial on sound effects in Edge Animate. And we've also looked at scripts and responsive scaling. And one last thing, if you're curious about how Edge Animate accomplishes the fallback from MP3 to OGG, take a look at my tutorial on fallback in Edge Animate. It delves a little bit into the HTML5 audio objects that Edge Animate automatically creates when you drag audio into the project the way we did here.